As I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to skip a lot of the theory behind programming, but we have to start out with some basic definitions for what we're doing today. First, what exactly is a program? The dictionary defines a program as a set of coded instructions that enables a computer to perform a desired sequence of operations. That's essentially all a program does. It performs a series of operations based on the instructions given to it by the computer programmer. That's you. Now, in the old days, the programmers actually had to program their stuff on punch cards, which I'm sure was no fun. Then we had to type everything in on the keyboard line by line. That was no fun either. Then finally, Windows came along and made programming much, much easier. Instead of typing in lines of code, Windows programs are made up of objects, like command buttons that you push, text boxes that you type information into, menu bars that you can select functions from. Windows programs are not even easier to write, but they're easier to use. Here's one of my favorite age-old Windows programs, Microsoft Calculator. It comes with Windows, and it illustrates many of the common components that you'll find in Windows programs. Calculator has command buttons, these little buttons here that we can push, and they'll put numbers up here in this text box, or we can type the numbers right into the text box. There's a menu bar that allows us to pull down menus. And of course we have our standard maximize, minimize, and close buttons. So the objects in Windows programs, the buttons, the text boxes, make programming and using the program much, much easier. Windows programs and all the objects in them generally have properties, methods, and events. Properties describe the characteristics of a program or an object. For example, a button might have a height, a width, a color. Those all represent properties. This button right here, for example, this number 9, has a certain width and a height and a color, it's blue. Those are its properties. Windows programs also have methods. Methods are built-in functions that the program performs. For example, when we start Calculator, it knows to pop a little zero here in the window and wait for user input. That's a built-in method. And most Windows programs, if not all, have events. Windows programs are event-driven. That means they sit around waiting for the user to do something, generating an event. If I click on this number 9, that generates an event inside the program. There's a little programming code underneath this button that we'll see how to do today that then puts a 9 up here in this text box. That's called an event. Properties, methods, and events make up the core of Visual Basic programming. So what is Visual Basic? Visual Basic is a programming environment. It includes a programming language and a graphical user interface. The programming language allows us to enter in commands that the computer will execute. The graphical user interface allows us to create forms and buttons and text boxes and many other things visually by clicking and dragging them with the mouse. The combination of the two provides an extremely powerful programming environment. 